hello, hello everyone. So, we have plant made again. And I was thinking to show you how I'm um, acclimating the plant to my environment. So these succulents came yesterday. So I'm doing this for all my plants, not because they are succulents. They came yesterday. Usually succulents are sand in a really dry mixture because it's cold outside. They were supposed to come, so they came yesterday, it was Saturday, uh, they were supposed to come Friday, but because of the error of the post service, uh, they came Saturday, doesn't matter. So what I did, I this Echeveria, so this is Echeveria Red Gear, this one came not in the plant mixture, or the, the compost, God. The compost so I had to put it in yesterday so I put it in my blend of inorganic media wash the roots put it in the blend of inorganic media and leave it with all these so usually when I get plants I will leave them uh, to a lower temperature I will not put them in my plant room okay so I'll put them in the kitchen or in the fish room <laughs> and uh, in a darker place not totally dark but darker place just to get used to uh, the environment after they came out from the box so uh, I started doing this with all my plants that are coming in the mail and it's working just fine yeah uh, so after a day of leaving them like that in the media that they came and everything I will wash them wash the roots really well Leave them to dry for a bit. This is a, a pad, an absorbent pad. Leave them to dry for a bit after I wash them really well, even the, the leaves and everything, and plant them, right? So I showed you the Echeveria Red Gear, and I'll show you this, this one. It's Euphorbia. I'll show you the name first. I hope you can read my um, writing. So, look at this. It, she's absolutely gorgeous. Came apart because, yeah, this is happening. They were two. She's a bit dehydrated, but I'll put it in the media and give it a good watering. This is, I'll show you the name first. Lenophilum butatum variegated. I love this one. So this too is the reason for which I ordered from the seller. I will show you really quickly what's the seller. I think this is a um, cacti. I don't know. I don't know what's the difference between succulents and cacti. So yeah, if you know, tell me. Really, really nice. Really big one. Uh, next one is this one. Lenopetalum CV chocolate. Really nice one. As well, it's a bit dehydrated, but we will sort that out in a day or two. It will be alright. And the last one, it's Avonia Papirace, Papiracea, whatever, uh, which they split, so they are this pile here, but they look like this. They are a bit wet. Really nice. Dehydrated as well. Um, I will show you... Wait, just a sec. Right, I wanted to get this to show from where I got them. Really original name. I love the name. That sucks. UK. And you have her Etsy shop her Facebook and her Instagram. So she has some, I I've went on the Etsy shop yesterday and I've seen uh, a lot of nice uh, succulents that I would love. And I started putting them in my cart and my total was 600 pounds. So now I can't afford that, but yeah, she has really nice and interesting and more uncommon succulents than other shop have so that sucks <laughs> really really good name 
So go and see her at the shop. Her name is Emma. Uh, they look really nice. The the reason for which I placed the order was this guy. I just love it. So what I'm doing now? I have my media here. Ta da it's not washed, by the way, because I'm lazy. I'm lazy, I don't want to wash it. So, I'll report just one, but you will get the point. It's not, uh, it's not rocket science. So, oh, come on. I'll take just a pot like that. If you want to know the size, I don't have a clue what the size is. There is nothing on the pot. It's no nothing on the pot. It has some numbers here, but I don't know. I no, I don't know. Anyway, so let me see. How can I show you? Put your bit up, up. Hope this will not fall. So we will take the the media. I've told you it's not uh, it's not washed. So what I will do. I hope you, you can see. Let's see. I have a bucket here. So I have the pot, which is full of media. And I will rinse it off with some water with fertilizer. Oh, my God. It's... I'm not rinsing my media anymore because it's easier like that. So you can't see that. I just pour some water in the pot. It's not, again, not rocket science. Okay. And I'll put this down here and I will take this stick because when it's wet, yeah, they will not fall down. And I will make just a little, well, depends how, how big are the roots. Let's see which one to put. Let's put this Lenophilum. What? I need to really organize today. So I'll put the roots in there. Try not to break any. Even if I don't plant them really deep, they will still go all by themselves. So don't you worry about that. No. I need to dig a bit more. So I'll just push the media around. Okay. And gently just put the roots in. Put the media around the base. I don't think you've seen anything because of my hand. So I'll put push the media around the base and I'll give it a shake. That will make sure that the roots are covered and my heater started. Okay. So that's good. He's well tucked in. There, put the label. I hate when I don't know what plants I have. And you can see a lot of dust here, but that's all right. And yeah, that's that's easy. It's not, uh, don't, don't over complicate things because, because they are not so complicated actually. So I'm doing this for any plant, any species, any, any, anything. And they will be doing great. So they need, I will leave this like that. Let's say, depending on your environment, it's always depending on your environment. Oh my God, that heater, it's going bonkers. Uh, I will leave this for a week. So in my grow room, plant room, however you want to call it. At the moment, they are 21 degrees. The humidity is 77%. So it will take a week for the pot to dry out. After a week, when it's drying out, I will put them in a tray. I will put some water to touch the bottom of the pot so to make sure that it's waking up. And leave it like that for another week and repeat this is all that I'm doing with all my all my plants that are in trays you see there the trays 
every plant is treated like that, they love it. There are plants that require more water than that, but for that you should use your common sense and watch the plant to see how she's reacting. And yeah, I'll pot all these up, leave them for a week. The other succulents that I've, uh, I've got at the end of the year, they're looking nice and plump now as well. So uh, let, let, let me show you one that was a bit dehydrated and you can see the media, it's already drying, see? So these were potted seven days ago, so the media start drying, but I will still leave it like that, uh, maybe to dry fully. You can see here what's the difference between uh, wet media and dry media. Media, medium, I don't know. Anyway, you get my point. So I will still leave it for a few days to dry because they don't have big roots. So I don't want them to um, fully dry all the pot. So when this bit will be dry as well, I will water them. Uh, they have really short roots, so they are on the surface. Although this one doesn't look so well. Yeah, I think I will water it now because this one it's kind of dehydrated. Didn't have so 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 many big roots. I need to get a tweezer and put it. See, the roots are just above the media so yeah i need to get a tweezer and push it down a bit but yeah this is how i treat all my plants it's not about only about succulents so yeah that's it for today hope you find it useful um and uh, have a nice sunday yeah it's sunday today so have a nice sunday and see you all in the next one bye